This is the 36th episode of the Effective Executive Podcast, and I named this episode, Don't Confuse Brains with a Bull Market. And, you know, I, I sit here and watch, um, on, on occasion, the, the financial channels. And, you know, everybody's been in an uproar over cryptocurrencies and all of this and how it's always going to go up and all these things. And I almost feel sorry for people. And this, this is something, I guess, that comes with age. But uh, after going through the dot-com bubble uh, in 1999, I almost see the same pattern happening here. Um, I owned a lot of different uh, dot-com stocks. Um, two of them panned out, um, which was Priceline and, and Amazon at the time. Uh, but the rest of them <laughs> went to, you know, they just basically went to zero. And, uh, you know, I remember when Mark Cuban and his uh, partners, you know, broadcast.com sold their company for billions of dollars type of thing. And, of course, then even that, went flat too. So uh, you have a tendency when things are going well, and it's it, it's it, it is something called attribution bias, which is uh, we have this ability to uh, attribute success to ourselves and failures to others. And uh, I thought this was a good subject to cover for executives because um, with all this investor hysteria, it just kind of got me going on sometimes when I, I work with organizations that are doing really well and lots of revenue and, and, and you know, nothing could go wrong. <laughs> it always does. But uh, uh, this attribution bias, this, you know, not confusing brains with a bull market that they're in a a, a good trend and, oh, I don't need any help from the outside because, of course, we're really good. Um, and I've never seen an organization that is that good. Um, yeah, everyone can always use help um, from the outside to see things that uh, they can't see in themselves. So anyway, with all the crypto and everything going on, I thought, what a great, great subject to cover. And, you know, you've got all these people that are portrayed as superheroes right now, like Kathy Wood with her innovation fund, who's never been in a, well, I don't know whether she personally has, but her fund has never been through a bear market. So she, in essence, has this mind, you know, everybody has this mind, oh, she's the guru. Um, well, not really. <laughs> she's, you know, she don't confuse brains with a bull market. And Dave Portnoy, you know, is out he was on uh, TV, TV a few months ago, and I remember him saying, you know, oh, the market always goes up. You know, don't worry about it. Uh, and it may eventually, but uh, you can really get damaged uh, in times like these. I see all these people uh, ex and executives that I'm talking to, you know, jumping into crypto right now. In my mind, it's kind of at a, its peak. Um, and again, I may be wrong, but <laughs> I don't think so. Um, but anyway, that. I see the same kind of mentality of, uh, you know, with executives that, you know, when they're selling umbrellas in the rain, everything's perfect. And, you know, I don't need any help. Um, I, I, I'm really good. Uh, and uh, like I said, it will uh, eventually, uh, you'll run into some advers adversarial type of situation uh, whether it's from a competitor or some unforeseen circumstance within organizations. Um, and so that's that's one of the things that, you know, I think executives especially have to guard against. I mean, people in your organization are, are going to tell you it's their ego, um, which we all have an ego a certain degree, but attribution bias is something that uh, we all carry when we have a real success. Man, was I great <laughs> type of thing. Um and, and then there's what I call kind of the artificial bull markets, which is where um, people manipulate their financials in order to hit their targets. Uh, and, and, you know, I had to stop working with organizations where I saw the manipulation going on, um, where they're uh, kind of fudging the numbers, if you will, in order to hit 
their, their targets for that particular quarter. Um, just in the long run, it hurts you. Uh, you might get your bonus that month and be gone the next quarter, <laughs> you know, as an executive. Um, sometimes it's being found out and sometimes it's just, you know, it catches up with you um, because you have to, to cut corners and it might be uh, because you, ha- you gouged a customer or, you know, I, and I've, I've seen all of these things uh, go on and especially in industries where trust is, is needed, uh, whether, you know, you always think of the occupations like attorneys, I haven't worked with many of those, but, uh, think of things like, uh, HVAC companies and plumbing, uh, you know, those types of organizations where the customer really doesn't know what a good price is or really if there's something wrong or not. But I always find it, it comes back to haunt an organization when, um, you know, when they uh, try to get some type of extra profit or um, kind of, I guess, lack of a better term, they screw over the customer. So, you know, you have to, especially as an executive, have to, um, wait for the the next downturn um, and kind of be even keel about what's going on in, in your particular organization. Otherwise, uh, attribution bias will take over. I mean, uh, you know, attributing it to you alone, number one, is, is very wrong or to a person, uh, especially in my system where 95% of your performance is going to be attributable to the system you work in and only 5% to an individual or special cause uh, or event uh, that that's happening uh, with your organization. And so uh, I just thought it was a good, good thing to bring up, uh, kind of check yourself maybe as an executive uh, on what's happening. And, uh, you know, this thing with the uh, economy is going to run its course. And, you know, where people may be doing very well right now, I foresee some really hard times in the next six to 12 months, um, and I hope not, um, but, but in the sec- next six to 12 months, because um, you know we're doing things in at least the US economy that, that's going to uh, cause some problems you know, down the road. And uh, I just want to everybody to kind of calm down if you're doing really, really well. Um, because, uh, now's the time, uh, to be looking for the downturn. And if conversely, if you're down right now, uh, you know, good times could be ahead too. So it's just the way life is. And, uh, uh, now, you know, the words associated with it are attribution bias and that you shouldn't confuse or don't confuse brains with a bull market.